Okay, so this is the tool you're using. Yeah, the, uh, the what's the name of that tool? Move tool. Okay, the move, move tool. tool. Okay. Now this is the bezinate masking tool that pen you tool. use, right? The pin. Yeah. Okay, that's pin. Okay, so those are the two main tools that I'm using right now when I'm going to do my crab and put it in a layer, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so put the crab on the screen. Okay, right? so. I'm going to start with this, which is already already had the layer. Okay, so but the layer is nothing to do with the crab. This is alpha right here, right? This is, okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. Uh -huh. It's just alpha. Nothing. It's just a, uh, an empty layer. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just dragging the image on top of here, okay? Right. Okay, so this X right here, we're going to get rid of by clicking, right? Just enter. Or click, or double click. Okay. Any of those. Okay. So now you see how you see how this icon over here you see how th this little thing right remember that i told you to click here not here right right okay, okay. so if you click here double click right oh, one second not it's different right here okay well, oh, not is that much wait 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 one second what's going on uh, uh, okay okay that, okay so yeah. now just let me see so over here is right click right click and then over here it says rasterize well i didn't even know i've never i didn't even yeah. see that one so what so, you have here is an image so you're gonna this is all being recorded right now right yes and with audio and everything okay so what you have here is is one chunk okay right but actually it's two because the white is a layer two right Actually, you know, you saw how I, I had layer one, and then when I dropped the image, it became this. So if we went back from having, instead of having layer one and two, it went back to having just the image, you know? So, but if I want to get rid of this so I can alpha, so you can, you can just alpha this in this state that it is right now. Because yeah. remember before I was having a problem, and you're saying, oh, because there's a white, the white is... A, a layer so why was I fighting with that if you're doing the same thing I was doing remember you, it had the layer of white so did I click on it or something that made it a layer you understand what I'm asking mm -hmm. the question because this was a layer and I kept trying to alpha it and I was like I can't get it to spirit and you go no. oh the white is a layer you made so the... right now okay there we okay right, okay so right now the white right now oh one second so the eyebrows, he has eyebrows? I didn't notice he has No, this is another image. Okay. So you see how I'm moving it? Right. Right now, the whole chunk is acting like one layer. Right. It doesn't recognize the crap. It's just for, for right now, it's just one flat image. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have the layer one. I just created that. But it means nothing. You know, even if you have only one layer, but you have these little squares on the sides, yes. and the white here is still one background because the image is not rasterized. You see this little icon with the kind of like squares here? It's not what rasterized? Rasterized. I don't know what's that word. But when you right click on it, and then you rasterize, I don't know what that word means. Okay. But it's rasterized, right? And then you rasterize. Now you see how it removed those little squares. Yes. Now it's a layer. Now, now it's a layer. Okay. So now what you're saying is the crab is a layer. No, over or, here, over here, oh, just on the bar, on the side. Okay. So just on the bar. So when you do that, it's, it's going to allow you to begin to mask and put different layers at, uh, on this. <laughs> okay. So. What you want to do first? Would you, do you want to get rid of the white or the eyes? Yeah, let's get rid of the white. Because isn't it? Okay, do you think it's easier to work on it when you get rid of the white so you just have the item? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, if you remove first the white. Because sometimes I fuck up and I don't get the little pieces in between. Okay. Yeah. If, remember I'm you started doing your, your recording like this? Yes. You're masking. I mean. Right. right. So if you if you delete the white first, then you can do the masking like this because even if you make a selection, let me see if I can. Okay. Uh, if you make a selection like this, uh, it's going to make the new layer with the eye and including everything that is over here. But it won't because it doesn't matter. Let me let me let okay, me show on. you. 
Let, okay. Okay, so now here's the thing. So how do I erase this? Do I have to go up here? Or no, can, no, no. How can I just erase that? I have pro like if I screw that up and I want to get rid of it, what do I? how do I get rid of that right there? Mm, okay, so uh, you can do two things. You can delete it all. Okay. So just by you, pressing delete. And that's it, okay. And that's it. Or right. you can go back. Let's say that you just want to del delete this one. Okay, right. then you start on clicking, you know. Like so it's just done because I was trying to I, so just press delete and so does the does it's the same thing I didn't the, push anything else so does the pin have to be on it to, in order to delete or you just push delete and it's gonna get no because right? what let's let's start over I'm gonna make one here right right when it's finished you see how we, all the all the dots right, right. become blue right that's because it's kind of like auto selected okay and. Right now, if I want to delete everything, all the selection is just one tap on delete. That's it, delete. Okay. But if I keep pressing delete, I s oh no, it didn't, nothing happened. <laughs> no, it won't delete anything else. Okay, so right here, do you ever use any of this information? Sometimes because... Uh, so if you open this, it won't get you to where you were, right? No, because this is, you can go back by step by step. You know, this is what history is for. Uh, oh, okay, no, never mind. Okay, like uh, over here, like you can go back to here. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, oh, that's okay. So it will let you go back through this step. Yeah, yeah, and then you can scroll and you can go back all the way to when you started, which is right here. Remember? So that's the history bar for you. You can see all the movements that you've done and you can go back or you can go forward. Okay, so I was playing. But with one second, because if you go back, like let's go to here. And then, you know, like I, I go back to this place and then I make a new movement, like, uh, like over here, I went all the way back here. Right. And then I make a new click. It's going to delete all the, f oh. it's like you go to the past and then make a new movement and all the future is going to be a new future. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now when you're doing that, Okay, do that again. Tap that and make the crab disappear. Where did you tap on your on your keyboards? This is what gets confusing. You just tapped control. What did you tap to make that guy disappear? Uh, 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 no, uh, I was just going back. So how did you go back to make him disappear on your keyboard? You tapped it. What did you do? Mm, I deleted all the history. No, but then you, I, you just did. Or did you do it through? I, you just looked like you tapped it and the guy came off, and then you tapped it and he went back on. Because that's what I don't like. Sometimes I tap it and disappear. Like, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what did uh, you touch? I'm like, what did I just touch? That's let me let me start over because I started over and I deleted all the steps. Okay. So I can I need to go back to where I was. Uh, so let's rasterize the image. Oh, okay. you see how I click on here and it's giving me. It's not giving me that option if I click right. inside the. Because you the little box is uh, on there. But if you click here, it gives you that. It's weird. Here is one, and here is a different one. Okay. So rasterize to make that layer an image. A layer, I mean. Okay, so layer. So this is a layer right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know what I. Uh, so now, just keep going. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna make this eye a layer. So let. So do you want to del delete the background right now? Okay, let's do that. Okay. So with the... Wand tool, right? Is wand it? tool. Let's start with the wand tool. So you just clicked on one with your keyboard, right? One, magic wand tool, right? Here it so is. So that's this one, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you hover around. Oh, it selected all white, right? Okay. And that is selected. I have my layer selected. Now I'm just pressing delete. But see, so you still got this. Yeah. So I deselect... And so how do you deselect? Uh, command, control, uh, what is command here on your keyboard? Is but control. I don't have command. No, yeah, yeah. I have auto, right? So instead of what I do in command on your computer is control. It's just, just different. Uh, or, uh, Mac substituted the control for command. Okay. So my command is the same as, uh, keystroke as your keyboard on control. Okay. So auto, auto, you know, mine it says auto, right? You were clicking it. Is there is there a substitute on this? No, no, no. The alt it remains the same. So where's the alt on yours? Right, uh, is this one? So that is the same as alt options. Mm -hmm. So what you use this for when? 
when you're using just for zooming you know when you're pressing you keep pressing if if you scroll right now it's not doing anything but if you press alt and you scroll it does the zoom remember okay okay so keep going mm -hmm. okay so you're so using this, the wand tool right mm -hmm. and so you're just clicking on it and then you know when it does because it, it it's it's uh -huh. putting the lines and around. i'm i'm just pressing the lid okay it's like here here. Okay, so now you. Okay, so it's now. So if you, you want to blow it up and touch it up, what tool do you? You were showing me the tool you use for that. Touch it up. Yeah, you were saying that for the lines. You saying oh. Oh I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so right now you still you rem see how I still have this selection. Yes. Just right click on it and then uh, deselect. What? Okay, so you're deselecting your tool, your wand tool. Is that what the, you're doing? The selection over here. I'm deselecting, deselection, because I'm going to start working on a different thing, on painting this, on, on, on these ones, right? Okay, wait. So you are, you're, you're switching your tool is what you're doing. Yeah. So, so this tool I'm, here. I'm, I'm deselecting this because right now the selection, if I want to make that red painting over this, right. it's not going to paint anything because it's selected over here. Only It's only going to paint. Let's say that I want to use my brush to where is it. Okay, but no, you one time you blew it up super big and then you said, here's what I do if I want to clean it up because the alpha is not super clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what tool do you use for that? It wasn't a brush or was it a brush? Was it the brush? I was just like retouching, right? Yeah, you were you were cleaning okay. up. You go. I don't like. That I wasn't because... making the uh, the pen selection. No. I, okay. okay. You were. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. So for deselect this, just right click and deselect, just so you can go back to work here. Okay. So all this is recording. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, you're gonna you're gonna get out the watermark. Now, yeah, the doing, brush right? too. Where is the brush? Right over here. Okay. Right. Brush, and then remember that with the Alt, Alt, and click that selects the color okay right okay now i have the color and i can start doing this which is just painting on top right but you know how okay i'm going to zoom in control and plus right okay and then i move so okay, i just so copy this color okay, so right there you want to change color a little deeper so mm -hmm. let me see so you put the tool where where's your tool okay Right so there, the circle, right? That's the, that's the, yeah, that's the brush. Okay, so you're going to... So if I want to copy this color... Right. I have this color right now. And I want to copy this one. Right. Alto, and click on this one. And then you have that color. So once you let go of it, then it becomes the circle, right? It's the mm -hmm. pen, and then it becomes the circle. Meaning once it's the circle, then it's going to put in color, right? Right? It's, when it's in this... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um... So, you're going you're gonna to wipe that out? Yeah. yeah you don't like have to this. do the whole thing, but... Okay, so I see. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So... I, yeah, because we have three different uh, reds over here. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's how I go deep. And then I... This is what you mean by exploding, right? Which is... Uh, like that. Actually, this one looks good because you were saying you didn't like to put the alpha layer on it because it doesn't come out crisp. The lines aren't crisp enough. But this. Oh yeah, yeah. But right now you can see that because uh, you don't have any color behind, and you uh, and. But if I put a black background, it's going to reveal all those white pixels that oh, I see that I saying. that it left untouched because. Uh, so you see how I here have three different reds, right? And it works the same thing with white. What we see as white, it may be like three different whites. So when you click on one white, it's just going to select all the whites that are the same. But if you have one white that is slightly different, it's not going to select that one. So that's why you have left on on less less behind white pixels that is just like creates that. Okay. Did, yeah, didn't look it. Okay, so this one here, as long as I got it on the recording, I did this yeah. already. I kind of fought through it because of what where I was, you okay. know, with the pin and the alto and how to click it and get through. Mm -hmm. But I've got a good understanding. Okay, so now you got the watermark off and you've got it back. You've got the uh, alpha background. So mm -hmm. now you're going to make a new layer. Okay, with the eye, right? Yeah, we'll start with the eye. Now you're saying because it's so now you have to switch to your pin, right? Right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's start with the eyebrow, with, which is going to be a simple uh, sample okay. example. 
Uh, I'm going to zoom in, control mass, control plus. And then control plus or control swing on that thing. It's the same thing. It con uh, no, con alt and yeah. zoom, okay, or right. control plus is the same thing. Okay. It's okay. just different ways to do it. To zoom in. Now, right here, I have a very easy thing to do for the eyebrow because you see how I already got rid of the white. Right. So I don't really have to go like oh in the edge of the because it, the white is already gone. So if I just do this, it will only select the the eyebrow. Okay. Because the white is already gone. Even though if I make the selection and it goes. Okay, so you clicked on it, and it, is that what uh, you, right? Right click. Okay, right click. Can right click again. Right click. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Control, Control Z to go back, or you can see here, right? Control Z. That's one ba step back. Okay. And then I'm going to right click. And then, so what's that doing? What, is that a, is that giving you information to put it over here into your layer, or is that just showing you something you don't? Really it's, need? it's showing you the uh, option to have these. What? So you already have your mask. Right. But it's not selecting anything. It's just the mask. So when you right click, oh, I'm sorry. You right click on it and then uh, make selection it's going to transform that mask into a selection now you see how I'm working on this layer right right and right. it has the selection if so I did you you didn't label it could you have labeled it there Is yes, it you can do that after okay. so right now I'm going to press control J so now what it does is what it was inside that selection it, it, um, how can I explain this? So, right before, everything was in the same layer, right? Okay. So, I, I make this selection right. and I press Control J. And what it does is what everything, everything that is inside the selection, it moves it to a new layer. You see how I have a new layer here? Yeah, okay, but okay, so this layer is not going to show anything other than this. Yeah, if I turn off this one, it's going to just leave the eyebrow. Oh, okay. Let me see if the eyebrow still... Okay, so that's why I told you to use Control X and Control Paste, uh, Control Cut and Control Paste, because when you do this, Control J. Okay. It, even if you... I, you see how I turn off the crab layer but right. and, the, and the eyebrow is still there? Right. If I turn off, let me uh, label it. Double click on the on the on the on the font, and then you uh, eyebrow, right? Okay. And that's the layer of the eyebrow. Okay, so now you're strictly in layers, right? Mm -hmm. You're working on layers. You don't the path just has. What is the path for to clean up if you make mistakes? <coughs> so if you want to the what uh, the path is when you're working with multiple selections, sometimes you have like one picture. And from that picture, you have one car and one house. So you want to take out the house and you want to take out the car and then assemble them together in another composition. The, the path, what it does is when you, when you mask the house, it creates one path. You see how it's here? So when you create a new path, you can make one path for the house and one path for the car. So when you want to go back to, oh, you know what? I did this selection and uh, the house was improperly masked. So you can uh, uh, always go back to path and, and let's say that this is layer. Uh, I'm gonna call it eyebrow. Okay, but why can't you do that with this? You can't bring that one back and do the same thing? Th these are though two different things. Paths is just your, your strokes. That's just the, the strokes. Right here is your composition layers, your canvas layers. So you're saying this is just this the drilling of it, mm -hmm. okay? But it's this tools. is the actual layer that is is going to be transformed if you want it to. Mm -hmm. So when you're playing with this, you're, it's it's not going to affect the layering of it. No. Okay. So let me ask you this. So when you play with this, when you take this off, it adjusts it over here, though, right? So when you open this up, okay. So so if you change, okay, let's say you you, you want to reconform this, right? Mm -hmm. So when you reconform this in paths. 
Does it pick it up over here so when you open it up? It's no, gone? no. Actually, it, okay, that's a good question because that happened to me many times. If you don't, if you're not working on the, on the right layer, if you do that thing, you're going to mess up the layer that you're working with. So let's say that okay. One second. Don't want to get too complicated. I mean, I, it, yeah, yeah. Because it can't. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's I just want to make it to where I can I can do the crap. So if that's something we can deal with later, well, you can you can you can forget about pads right now because um, you don't really need them right now. Okay. It's like you having tools that are more advanced than where you are right now. And you can don't, uh, 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 come back to use them when you are already qu acquainted with the uh, main things, yeah, which is the layers and the, and the tools. Okay, so well, let me just close it. This one, just for, okay. All right, so, um, so you have here the crap, and you have another layer of the eyebrow. Right. But if I delete the eyebrow, I mean, if I, I turn off the eyebrow okay. on the crap layer, the eyebrow is still there. Right. So I have to go back to the uh, 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 um, uh, crab layer and then do the same thing, you know. Select it. Okay. Mask it. And this is masking. Right. And then right click and then make selection. And now what I'm going to do is delete. Now it's gone. Right. Yeah. Because it's on a different layer. So con control D is to deselect. It's the same thing as right click and then deselect. Now if I turn on the eyebrow layer, there you go. So you what you're doing is with control J, what it does is copy that selection into a new layer, but it leaves behind the the same thing on the original layer. So you have to go back and delete it what you what you made into a new layer so why do you have to delete it what does it do it, it will affect it for later on if you tr if you go no be yeah because if you want to uh, let's say that um, um mm, 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 well, okay let's say that you want to okay so right now you have two eyebrows you have this one you have that one so okay. you put you turn them on you have you see how i have the mold yeah. on Let's say that you want to animate. Right. If you don't animate, if you don't delete the one that is on the background, you're gonna have that problem. Oh, I see what you're saying. Let's say that you're moving this one and the, you didn't delete the one on, on the back, you're gonna have that problem. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so do 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 another selection. Okay. So uh, right here. Okay. So the eyebrow was really easy because it didn't have white behind it, right? So what? Okay. So do the claw. Right. Okay, so for the claw, so the claw. So I'm thinking, is it best to go around the top like this and make yeah. it through the thing? Mm, wait, or is that too much to go? So would it be too yes. much to go this no, way? The, the no, more, the more layers you have, the more uh, articulated. You're gonna get. Yeah, the right. more articulate articulations you're gonna have. So right now, let's break the first uh, the the whole claw. Okay. So I, I forgot to delete this part. Let me just one and white and gone. Right. Just forgot to delete that part. So I have okay with the pen. Right. These ones you can even go outside, it doesn't matter. Okay. Because the the what we wanted to get rid of is already gone. So right here is when you get critical. Uh, right. critical. So now you get it into the. So now, how do you? So you pull that out like that, okay? So that's that's a technique I need to get better at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it requires a lot of practice. So you can dominate. So so you curves. never want to touch the end because when you do, it just shoots it off the. It, what you mean, then? So, so touch it, touch uh, it, touch this. It. Yeah. So now move it. Let me see. Move it like that? Yeah. So let's say you do that. Let's say you're doing that. Mm -hmm. And you want to get rid of this. How do you get rid of that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so what did you do? You so uh, right now I use it because if I only click here, it automatically creates that curve because this thing is pulling. Right, right, right. Right? Okay. But you don't want to, if you don't want to get that uh, force pulling your line, you just alto and click and it. And it gets rid of that pull force. 
So and now, if I just click, it's going to make a straight line. Okay. So then what? So how do you put it back to you can get the pull force? Uh, control C, and it goes back. Control C, so then yeah. it gives you that. Everything that you do, you can go back step by step by Control C. Control C. Okay. And then, so, so you're going to put, so you. Yeah, so I'm just going to create one, and then I pull up a little bit, and that's it. So when you pull, so, so do that again. So let me see that again. So pull here again. So okay, let's go big, big, big. Okay, all right. So right here, I already kind of like know the way they right, bent. I know. I, so uh, I already know that if I click here, I'm going to get a force of this much. Okay. So I'm going outside the line, or okay. inside the inside from here or outside from here. I'm okay. Let's say that I'm working inside the line. Okay. So we can stay inside the claw. Okay. And then, okay. So right now, this one, I left it way too large. If I want to do this little curve, it's going to go out. So I need to delete this one, right? This little thing. So you need to delete it or push it back? Uh, 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 cut it. Okay. Cut it. So Alto and click on it. And it's going to cut that. Uh, 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 it's called vector. Okay. It's called that. This thing is called vector. So now I can go and do this one. And now since I see that so this is... So, so the, you just got to kind of gauge how out. And then when you click on it, when you pull it is the key to... So now if you pull it, if you click out all the way out to here, it's just going to not follow the, the curve. It's just going to go outside too far if it's too far out. If this is too far away from yeah, 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 like the if, vectors too yeah, it's going to it's going to follow that vector. Let's say that I'm doing like this, right? And if I just do one click here, it's going to oh, okay, I see. Yeah. right, right. But let's say that I did this and I cut here. If I just do one click, it's going to do the straight line. It's not gonna pull it, you know. Okay, so now okay, so to get to there, okay, so, so here you I just pull it a little bit. So now, okay. What you're trying to do here right, is connect. Right, and a nice curve. A nice curve. So, so right here, I know I lift, I left this vector up. Right. I know it's going to pull up a little bit the the, the line. So right now I'm not I'm I'm clicking holding, and I'm dragging a little bit the vector downwards, okay. and now I'm using two vectors so the two vectors can pull the line and then uh, uh, make that smooth line. You know. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, connect here, and now I have my masking of the claw. Okay, so you have the whole claw masked, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're going to make a layer on that. Yeah, okay. so there are two ways of making that a layer. Let's first start by uh, making that a selection, right? So right click, make selection, and uh, okay, now we select it. Now, there are two ways to make that happen. The first one and the easiest one is Control and J. I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong one. Yeah, so uh, Control. Control, so Control is, on uh, mine is Alto? No. It's, uh, it's on what? what? So I don't have I'm to... saying Control, but I'm pressing Command. So which one will it be on my keyboard? Control. I have control on mine. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna press. So you press this one. When I'm pressing this one, it means it's control. So this one's the same one on the other side. Yeah, right? these are the same. So you're gonna press this, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna click that uh, on the right click. Uh, one second. Uh, 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 oh, one second. So okay. Do you need? So uh, uh, no. Uh, okay. So it's already selected. It's already you have the, uh, the ants, you know, walking. Right, right. So right there, when you already have the selection, control on your keyboard and J, and so that selection, it moved it, it copy it to a new layer. So we have here, and remember how we, if we disappear the layer, this this shit's still there. So if you don't want to go uh, through this thing again to delete that. Okay, so we have here. We have the eyebrow, and then there's the claw. Claw. Okay, so now when you're clicking on the when you okay, uh, you, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. have to watch this again. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so um, 
Okay. <laughs> so now you okay, want to now, okay, so now I have the cloud in another layer, right? So now, okay. But you want to get rid of the cloud that is on the original layer. Right. So yes. what you can do is once you have this, if you control and press on the actual thumbnail. What do you mean thumbnail? Thumbnail is the little, the little, this, this right here is a thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. And this one right here is another thumbnail. So when you, when you have selected the layer of the, of the uh, cloud. Uh, right. If, right now I have the pen tool. Right. Okay, so I have to go back to the move tool, right? And then, so if you, let's, uh, yeah, okay, so with control and click inside the thumbnail, it's going to reselect, you know, your claw. Right. So if you turn it off, it's just a selection over there. And if you go back to this layer. So I was, okay. Yeah, and then right now the I can't press delete because I'm on this layer, on the claw layer. I have to go back to this one, and now on this one, delete. Now it's gone. So far so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So you want to get rid of that selection? Control D, and then. You turn it back on. Okay, control D, is that the same as control delete? No, no, control D is the same as right click and delete. You know? So at this select. Yeah, okay, let me show you. So right now is that selection. There's so many ways to do the same thing. Like you can do right click. Oh, one second. With the they don't uh, mm -mm. so with the pen select with the pen tool, and if I do right click. Ah, oh, it doesn't. No, I'm sorry. So there are two ways to deselect this. One is over here selection. Okay. And then you can click on deselect layers. Ah, oh, no, it's making this deselection. Select one second. Deselect right here. You see how it says deselect is this equal as control D? That little icon yes. on Mac is command, but they just changed the same, the same, that little icon it represents control on Windows. It's the same thing. Okay. So deselect, you can either do it right here on layers and deselect, or you can just do control D, which is the same thing. So what you've done is you've taken the claw off of this layer right here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this layer right here has the claw on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. so do another one. So I'm going to see how okay. you make another layer. Doesn't have to be too complex. No, no. Work with the same claw. So now put put on the claw layer. So you you click on that, and that's going to click on what we're working with. What? Okay. <laughs> so we're working with just this claw and we're going to animate it so it goes like this. Uh -huh. So in order to do that, you need to pull out just the claw and leave the rest of this done. The layer of just this, the claw that we made. Does that make sense? Oh, shit. I, I'm, I'm a little bit lost. So you want to make, okay, we cut this claw out, right? You yeah. cut the claw out. Yeah. So where's this claw? Okay. So you have, you want two parts. Okay, right. So, so let remember that we 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 just cut one chunk, one chunk. Okay, so now here's what I don't get. You clicked on this one, but isn't it this one that has the layer of just? The, isn't that showing just a claw? That's what I'm. Okay, let me see. Okay. Now, open, op, click on this one again. Okay, so now you click on that one again. So you, when you click on it, what it's doing is it's disappearing this piece yeah, right Yeah, that's here. why the, the eye, do you see how it has just one eye? Right. That's just to hide and show. Okay, right. So when you're doing that, so now aren't you off, you're off of this layer and now you're working with this layer, right? Uh, so I want to work with the claw layer. Okay. okay so. What do you want to do here? So, so w w isn't it easier if you disappear this layer or do you can't do that? Does that make sense what I just said? Disappear. So, so what is it? Okay, so, so get rid of the, so you're going to go over here. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. So you're going to go over here. Let me see, I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> Let me 
So, so how do you click for the click right there? Okay, so isn't it easier to work with it like that? Yeah. Okay, so what you did was you, you disappeared the, the crab and you just have these two. So now you have to move into here to make this, to work on this, or now you just start working with yeah, this. Yeah, right? actually you can split this one into two objects. And or, or right. two layers. Okay, so so now you're gonna so now you're gonna take the pin and cut this in half. So you, what you can do is just one, two. Right, and then you just need to just. And go. then the little you cut this one, and then you get outside. Right, so you can just go all the way around now, both yeah, sides. Yeah, right? I can do like that. Like yeah. this, right? <laughs> because it's, it's not going to select anything but the pixels. Okay, so now you now this is going to be a different layer, right? Not yet. You have to remember, make selection, okay, and then you can control J. Now it create a new layer. So control J, and and then it's going to make a new layer, and then this layer is. is uh, Claw uh, left. left. Okay, then you have to go back into the original and erase this, right? Yeah, so there's another way, okay, because if you don't want to do that, go back and delete, there's another way. So I'm going step back, step back, step back, okay. So, so we have that selected, right? Okay, so okay. I teach you right now the control J, which is just duplicate. But if you don't want to go back, and this is a little bit deep, uh, tricky, but um, so what you do is first you create a new layer, Control Shift N, and that's new layer, or you go to layer, new layer. You see how it's giving you the shortcut? So whenever you forget the shortcut, so you may, okay, right. so it gives you just the shortcut. Okay. But it's the same thing. You can click on it, and it's going to give you the option to create new layer. So we can make this the cloud part left. Okay. Yeah, this is all, so you got to record. You're recording all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll do. Do you think I should just try to do this, and that's it, and then and then go deeper and deeper? <laughs> Because you're just basically going to keep doing what you're doing when you get the tech. And so now put it back to where it would be normally. So 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 now to put it back, you're just going to click this right here. So there it is right there. So now you could take this image and go into After Effects, right? It's ready to go in and you've got some movement. You can puppet pin this right yeah, here. Yeah, so you can only make this one right now. This, this is an empty layer. So, so you can delete, you can work with this one with the entire cloud, and you can work with the eyebrow, oh, which is no, that's the claw, right? Yeah, but I forgot to delete this one. So, uh, I don't know. so when you're pushing, you're pushing the D, and and that will just delete whatever. Okay, so what you just did, will that delete? Anything? I use the eraser right now. <laughs> well, so where's the eraser <laughs> on the keyboard? Right here, the same. Remember, it's always for the tools. It's always the first letter of the word. So that's I think you use that to clean up for when you, the white. Isn't that what you use? Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Yeah. So let's make that new uh, black layer so we can reveal the, um, you know, so we can reveal How the imperfection. How did you the black layer? Just I just created a layer, new layer. And then uh, Alto and Delete, and it's going to. So it's not always going to paint it black. If you have this color here, right here, remember. You right. have, if you do Alto and Delete, it's going to paint the whatever color you have selected. So if you want to make it black, just go here and make it black, and then same thing. Okay. Now, if you go back, if you put it below the crab, it's going to reveal these imperfections, right? They said that we want to get rid of this one. Right. So I can go and click to the eraser tool, which gives me this circle is way too big. If right. I do, I'm going to, oh, it's, the, it's working on the black layer. So if I do this, it's going to delete a whole bunch. So right. if you right, right click on it, it's going to give you this one. And now you make the, uh, circle smaller, smaller, smaller. 
No, that's too too small. Man. Where's the circle? Right here. Okay. Now you can zoom in, and then you like start cleaning up. That's way. That's a dirty job, but okay. it's pretty much like if you, you can make the circle so, so smaller, if smaller. If you mess up, you just push delete. Do you just push D? Control Z. Control Z, and that always brings you back. Yeah. Control Z. Let's look. Uh, I can do a fucking mess. Oh, fuck it up. Control Z, and it keep, brings you back one step. Okay. Or let's say that if you do this. If you press Control Z, it's going to one step at a time. But if you do this, I just that was just one move. Okay. Yeah. So now I am okay clearing this up. All right. Uh huh. Okay. So so bring it back and then if put this and with okay. So now it's showing it without the claw because you're in this and you deleted the claw, right? So that. Mm. To show the claw, you put it on. You can click. You click on that icon, and that brings that layer up. So it's showing the claw on this layer, but not on this layer because it's been deleted, right? Yeah. And this layer is the black, right? Yeah. Okay. I can get. Rid so of how did how did you get rid of the black so quick? Okay. So. So there's the black layer. So once you select the layer, actually, I'm sorry. Once this, this is the layer selection. Right. Once you click on the layer, everything that is on that layer, even if you have 20 things on the same layer, once you click, uh, press delete, it's going to delete the layer. And among it, everything that is inside it. Okay. So far, so good? <laughs> okay. It's exciting, right? I get excited to teach you. Okay. So, <coughs> so now, okay. there's enough information here that you can bring it over to After Effects and did some puppeting, right? Yeah. So let's bring it over there and just... Oh, I don't have After Effects. I have it on the other computer. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. One second. Let me save this image. Yeah, I'm using one computer for editing, another computer. I have another computer down there. Really? Yeah. Uh, below that... That small one. What does that one have? What does that want? Why? Because you can't. You, because because you can't. Uh, what I'm doing is it requires way too much power. So uh, I split that power in two computers. Yeah. Uh, let me just. Yeah. See, when they talk to you on the tutorials, they don't give you any of the shit that you're showing me. Nothing. But they're doing they're doing a different technique as far as when they're like doing I layers see, they're, yeah. they're showing like a picture on top of a picture and the top but they're not doing this where they're t dissecting and showing you how to animate to set up for an animation and I keep telling them I will I want to you know layer for a, an animation effect and it never comes to something like this where what you're well, showing me. maybe I I'm the ones who who should be uploading those. Like yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. I, mean, I, see, I don't know if I'm not if I'm not presenting my question right to work because you know they you know they got a billion people you know billion different yeah. things. They they can have they can cherry pick which answers. Yeah, they give. just they don't know what exactly I'm trying to do, and they <laughs> try to the word is they're trying to summarize what I'm trying yeah. to do, and they're not hitting the nail on the head. They're yeah. they're off the mark, yeah. so it ain't working. It's not even even worth the time to fucking look at it yeah okay so this you want me to stop this recording because we're jumping to another computer so can you record that one over there yeah how so 